Hello, I'm John Begno here to talk to you today a little bit about irrigating or watering our trees. And you know, that's what makes San Angelo and this part of West Texas so pretty is because we have the rivers and we have some awful large trees for this area and they're dependent upon water. We've gone through some dry times and we may not understand exactly the, the mechanics of water and the science of water. In the spring of the year, they're taking up the nutrients and they're using stored food in their roots and along with water, they're pushing new leaves out. And then once the leaves become full grown, then they're functioning and producing food all summer. If they lack water, roots begin to die. And when roots begin to die, leaves and twigs and branches begin to die and they start suffering. Here happens to be a pretty nice sized bur oak and what we've done in this situation is realize that water is such an issue that we're not going to have a lot of turf grass around it. We actually made a bed that encompassed the trunk and two thirds of this tree in a mulch. And we're seeing a lot of people do that with rock, rock mulches. We see them with bark chips. This happens to be cedar fiber. If you'll underlay that with a good drip hose in the area approximately where the edge of the drip line, which the edge of the branches are, you can just turn on one faucet or two, whatever the case may be, and water and irrigate this tree when it needs it. The grass is not being the competitor in this case. Now when we look at this, we do have a good portion of the roots out there in the grass. We know that if we water one inch a week, the recommended rate, we're not going to get enough water for those tree roots. The good thing about research shows that if we irrigate this mulched area adequately with water, that it doesn't matter if those tree roots get enough water out there. The tree is going to get plenty. It takes the water up from the wetter area, removes it to the parts of the tree that need it, and the trees will remain healthy. Some tips to remember is that when the hot wind is blowing, in other words, it's nearly 100, humidity is less than 20, wind speed is up there, these trees will lose a lot of water. A tree this size, which the trunk is about 18 inches, will lose as much as 200 gallons of water per day. Okay, that's transpiration rates and that's proved by science. Each tree species is different. That doesn't mean I wanna water this tree 200 gallons a day. It means that during those types of periods where we have a lot of wind speed and humidity is low and the transpiration rate is high that I cannot go more than about three weeks without some type of irrigation and I'm gonna lose roots if I don't do that. So remember that 14 days is better 21 days is the maximum without an irrigation, okay? So if you'll just go ahead right now, you're able to water once a week in many cases. If you've got that water, that's plenty good, but the trees can do quite well with irrigation once every two weeks. And again, how much? Well, if one inch of water goes eight inches deep in our clay loam soils, we would like to put two inches of water every two weeks on these trees through the growing season. That would be ideal. Question always arises, well, if we can water once a month, can we put three inches of water just around from the edge of the drip line back on in? And the answer is yes, you can, and your trees will probably do just fine with no issues. Again, if you're strapped for, fertil uh, for water, then you don't fertilize these trees through the summer months, you just give them water, okay? This is John Begno, we hope that helps you.